Good morning, fans of Private TRFX. Coming at you Wednesday, 12 June. Got the ES chart up here. Um, boy, sort of shooting star and then kind of a shooting star with a longer tail. This looks like it wants to turn. Um, 2880 now will be the tail of the tape on the downside. Uh, this becomes wrong back at 29.11. Uh, so the risk reward's pretty tricky here at 28.85. But um, through 28.80, looks like uh, it's time to tactically be short uh, ES, purely based on these technicals here. Uh, of course, I could tell you a thousand stories why to be short, but now I'm just saying technically this looks overbought and ready to roll over. Let's take a look at Euro here. This is doing what we asked it to do which is just quietly go higher. Um, we got Draghi today which is um, he's in Frankfurt sort of just delivering a welcome address. The theme of the um, conference is resilience to global headwinds so also uh, Christine Lagarde is also speaking at this conference I'm not sure if, if it's the right time to say anything this close after um, after the meeting but um, anyway Draghi today 9 a.m. Swiss time Spanish CPI at 8 p.m. Uh, a few more ECB speakers. We have Deputy Gover Governor Ellis of the RBA speaking at 10. And then more ECB Coeur at 1.30. So it's got a few ECB speakers today. I don't know what the RBA speaker is doing on the list here. Um, anyway, let's have a look at Euro Aussie. That's been, um, it's been a nice little trendy trade. We have RBA and ECB speakers today. Uh, crude getting smacked. Bear market. You want to sell rallies on this. Uh, we've been out of sync with it. So we haven't been trading it as much. But just have a look at the chart. Have a look at the weeklies. It's pretty obvious what's going on here. Even though this weekly one looks like it wants to turn, you get the feeling we're just going to bang out some lows through 50 bucks. And, tr and trundle our way down to um, this 42 low eventually. Um, this bear market in crude is just giving us another reason to uh, be bearish stocks. Cable. Cable to me, I mean, the it's a mixed, we've had mixed now mixed results before yesterday's employment results and inflation results which were strong we've had some negative stuff but uh, you get the feeling this is going to continue to squeeze we never really got below um, 85 which was the point where where the employment uh, numbers came out 126.84 we screwed around 90.10 for those options and got to a high of 32. No great drama there. We did pull some money out of cable yesterday, which we're thankful for. But um, I just get the feeling with Euro also likely to keep heading higher. This will be quite interesting. Um, up at 127.65, all of a sudden we have a lot of fresh air up there. Uh, you could turn this into left shoulder, head, right shoulder. A lot of people are going to do this. Obviously, it failed the first time on this sort of inverted head and shoulders. Um, but regardless of that sort of technical pattern, the market is short cable. There's no reason to own cable. Um, but if we start clearing these highs, all of a sudden we have no resistance until you know this is the four hourly 200 day moving average but it's 28.19 so you got 60 ticks there and you know the first real resistance is 100 ticks away so 
you might want to quietly consider cable as a horse we will only start looking at it around these highs we're not going to pre-trade this uh, our focus is core long on euro um, and we're short stocks today going to add through 80 uh, but the best trade so far this week has been euro aussie just steady reminds me of dollar cad last week just steady no drama um, lots of green bars low volatility green bars even so we're you're a little bit late to the party uh, to play on this now we talked about buying dips yesterday it never didn't really dip um, so we don't really have a, a dog in this fight but boy it looks looks pretty constructive um, Euro Aussie looks like it's set to go even higher even though we've had one two three four five up days for those of you who aren't familiar with Euro Aussie, it can really get very, very trendy. I mean, I'll show you the weeklies. This was one of the most unbelievable trends. This move from 185 down to 116. That was just incredible. I remember that uh, very vividly. It was the first time I was really introduced to Euro Aussie as like a trending pair. This was back in 2009, 2010. Um, so anyway, it can trend. Uh, we look like we've got clear air. Euro Aussie looks like where it's heading higher. We actually like Euro Sterling lower, although the charts don't give us much of a clue here. Um, probably better off waiting for 89.50 to sell this. But yesterday it showed signs of, of exhaustion. Now here we are. The problem with this trade is if you like Euro higher, you're basically saying cable's going to rush higher faster than Euro. Seems uh, unlikely, but could happen. So maybe sideways movement here, uh, and then uh, a news-driven move lower for Euro Sterling is coming, and that'll be just cable taking off on positive news or, or low to stops or whatnot. Dollar Swiss looks like a sell you can sell this into 99.50 I don't think we're gonna actually get there remember the SNB is tomorrow and remember that a lot of uh, Swiss people over the weekend were talking about the SNB asking me about it saying hmm this is uh, there'll be a news conference I don't expect them to do anything but the point is this if they were gonna do something this is one of the meetings that they would Obviously, the only thing that they could do is loosen further. There's no way they're going to tighten in any way at all. Um, seems unlikely to me, but why why own Swiss francs going into that doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense uh, when you can just sort of be long euros. It's a much safer way to express the same the same trade. Dollar yen. Uh, we actually did get short yesterday, but then we got spooked out of it. I don't know. It was just a crappy little little trade. Um, not sure we're going to see this 109 the figure yet. And this obviously looks exactly like the stock chart. And below 35 now. It's kind of like this low is 31, but yesterday's low is 35. Looks like this is going to end up bleeding lower. So we're going to keep an eye on this. Um, exactly the same pattern as the ES chart here we're gonna trade ES just because there's so much number one the vol is so much bigger there's so much more room back down to support which is 2800 um, so but checking out dollar yen looks like yesterday's high 80 was the reach high this week never really made it up to 109 so just watching that 35 level Aussie looks like dirt. Um, this is just a sell on rally. I don't, you know, I guess this is China, which is looking bad. Hong Kong's looking screwed up. Uh, you can just sell Aussie. Looks, looks very bad. What else? Dollar CAD. Uh, we had a nice little squeeze yesterday up to 133.10. We were not involved. Uh, we were expecting a squeeze, but we we're just watching. We will be selling dollar cad up uh, near 133, between 20 and 50, so a little bit of a wide range up there. See if we get a squeeze. 
and gold uh, turned yesterday. Looks like we're heading back higher, 23 the low. If you were lucky enough to collect in the 20s, uh, that's great. Just hold on to those, and you want to try and add through 52. All right, I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, I'm going on a bike trip, so I will not be uh, trading Thursday or Friday. We're doing this four-day, uh, 500K trip with a bunch of my buddies through the mountains here in Switzerland. So I will see you next time on Monday. Good luck with the rest of the week, people. Make some dough. You deserve it. I will talk to you on Monday next week. Ciao.